Hello everyone, summer is on the way and I really miss the seaside. So today I am going to make a beautiful beachside which actually resembles the one of my childhood with 3D seagulls that look ready to fly off the canvas. There are some unexpected techniques in this one, let me show you how I did it. For our beachside we'll need the blues and the turquoises for the water, so I used phthalo green and when you mix it with white that creates a beautiful turquoises. We've got pearl glacier blue and then I am going to make my own mixes with Prussian blue. I can intermix the paints in between to get different hues. And for the beach predominantly yellow ochre and burnt sienna with a bit of white. I think that's going to be enough. We are having lots of little pots now. I'm just checking the consistency. I call it the runny honey. I put one part of paint to roughly one part of Floetrol and I use the British Floetrol. If you don't know, it's called Overtrol. It's thicker than the American one. And then I added water with PVA glue 50-50. Again, roughly one part. And I'm just checking. And if it doesn't run nicely for me, I just spray some more water. And then we've got the beach colors and some very light color, whatever this is. I added lots of white here and why not we might add a tiny bit of gold just for fun to the beach okay so i am going to prepare my cups now and the color that's going to be at the bottom flip it over it's going to be the color on top okay a little bit of yellow a little bit of white as well for good measure not too much very small amount of this brown some gold. I want some pebbly effect if that's possible. How much do I want? I probably want that much of the beach and then all my blues and turquoises here at the top. I'll be making a couple of layers with the same colors. This is going to be like a mixture of a bit of a sky but still some water. That's what I'm imagining of course. Maybe a little bit of this blue. Now I'm pouring from higher so the colors will mix a bit. You can probably watch this one, how it goes inside. Did you see it went underneath? This is the most dense paint. Before the fun begins, I am going to put my canvas higher. The beach is going to be the easiest because I can just take the canvas in my hand and do this. I want it just gently stir it, but really gently. And I'll do the same to the sky. I hardly ever do it. I usually don't like mixing the colors like this. But this time, okay, this big boy goes somewhere here. Oh, I can't lift it. Beautiful colors. You can even spread it here, doesn't matter. Last but not least, that was a bit more efficient. Oh, I love these. Let them sit for a few seconds. So, as I said, I kind of want it like this, not really flat. So, I'm going to go here. Interesting color. Let me spread a bit this section with a palette knife. Corners might be a bit difficult, so I'm spreading some some paint here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'll try to move the beach a bit on its own, holding these if possible. Okay, and now this corner. Oh, I'm so glad I've got those kind of stone looking elements. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, I'm very happy with the beach. So the sea is going to go, oh, this is going to be quite tricky. I want the sea somewhere all the way here. So basically covering the background. Wow, wow, wow. What a pretty color. I was really trying to control it all. So holding the sky now, we'll try to move the sea. 
move to see where I want it. Oh, I love the colors. Okay, so I am moving the sea this way, trying not to lose the beach at the same time, if you can see that. <gasps> Hurry up. And this way. I probably might release the sky. Well, I call it the sky, but it's going to be sea and the sky together. Just lighter, maybe even too light. Okay, now moving the sea in this direction. This is the section I need to cover, as you can see. Hopefully, it'll be all right. Oh, yes. Now I'm getting what I wanted. Okay, let me just check this left corner. Ah, <laughs> this is an artwork in itself. I'm loving this color. Okay, so what do we do here? I know, I just need to, I need to wipe my hands. Because I'm absolutely loving this, this strange formation here, I am going to do it differently. So first of all, let's just finish the beach off. You can see those drips are very useful because not only they will be reused to make another color, but at the moment, I'm covering the edges, just checking, and we can leave it to dry. Oh, I really like it. Kind of dramatic, isn't it? I just realized that I hardly ever torch anything. Let me just remove some air bubbles. I'm always trying to make the edges the same as the painting. This is what, what I like. Some of you prefer one color. Our background is completely dry and it looks like this. There's a little bit of shimmer thanks to gold. How do you like the pebbles? I really wanted them like this. I'm speechless how well defined they are. So the next stage will be, let's just put the background away, sketching some seagulls. Okay, so I won't bore you with me sketching a seagull. Uh, I will just show you the finished product and I might actually do another one as well because I want one one flying, one kind of standing. If you've watched my previous tutorials, you know that I like drawing my items on separate pieces. Composition is a big thing for me. So I will be planning the bird, trying in, in various places and seeing when I like it the most. Uh, oh, one more thing. Since I drew on this side, I can only trace it facing left. But not that it matters. It's, I'm absolutely fine with it. Looking at the boulders, what if the seagull stands on those two and I kind of make them into one big? Now I am just going to transfer it onto the canvas. Uh, it would be much easier if the bird was on yellow. You could see it really well. But because I'm using a soft B pencil, it should be seen on the blue as well. Look, so for me that's enough. Of course you can also cut it out. And if I turn this way, it's all shiny. How am I going to make those birds? The first option would be glue gun. However, I've got the small one here. Even the small one. I don't think I would be able to go into those details. Look how small this bird is. So glue gun, unfortunately, no. I did my crane with glue gun, but the crane was the size of the canvas, was big. And that was very nice. I am very fond of the crane. If you haven't seen it, please do, because it's one of my absolute favorites. Now, the second option, I bought this PBO relief outliner in gold. So that would make a nice gold bird, but I'm not sure if I want it. Another option would be super heavy gesso or all-purpose filler. And perhaps I could make my own outliner. Would you like to see me do that? So I picked these. If you're wondering what on earth is that? This actually came with a bunch of flowers, so I just cut it in pieces. And I'm going to roll it into my special pen tool. Making a little tube and I'll tape it 
Just be careful not to bend it if you're doing that. Of course, I could use a plastic bag. Why am I using this not plastic bag? Because plastic bag is quite squishy, so I will not get this nice pointed end. I actually left a tiny hole here. If it's too small, I'll just cut some more. Let's just put some gesso in it. I was thinking if to make a thicker one for the outline and then even thinner one for the feathers, I might do it. If this is too thick, I will create a smaller one. So let's test it out. This is probably the most precise thing I I've heard. Sorry, I can't talk now. I am so focused. I think we have to put some music on because I can't talk while I'm doing this. I have to figure out how to make individual feathers. Let me just see. It's probably easier making the curves individually, otherwise you can mess it up. Well, generally I am having a lot of fun doing this. Maybe I missed my vocation as a baker. I think I'll try the eye. I'll try. <laughs> Don't know. I think it's a bit too small. This part. This is such tiny detail. I might leave it. All right. Let's just do the second bird. This bird should be easier because I know what I'm doing. However, this bird is smaller. That's the harder bit. I actually figured out an easier way going this way, going back and then dragging it towards the middle because that gives us sort of some nice thin layers here. Just like that. I think that's pretty successful but there is a gap here I'm actually really tempted to do something totally crazy I've never seen anybody doing it and I haven't tried it if it doesn't work however I'll just wipe it off so I want to make a wave here but everything is dry if I thought about it before I would have done it once everything was wet but I'm going to use a little bit of flow troll and I mean a little bit I'm just going to dip my finger look look what I'm doing I want to leave it for too long, so a little bit of this color, adding my, you probably think I'm crazy, <laughs> but <laughs> it may not work, but if it does, I'll be happy. Now some white, I want to swipe with this white, pure craziness, honestly. Still wondering whether there's enough flow troll here. I don't want to swipe over the bird, by the way. Dipping tissue in some water. A little swipe. <laughs> oh, that's nice. If it's too much, I'll get rid of it. At the moment, I am liking this strange wave. So whoever is going to to do it, just do it when your paint is wet. But I'm happy to show you that everything is possible. Just believe in yourself, you know. Since that was so successful, I'm going to wait a bit for the bird to dry. And I'm just going to do a little bit here on the beach. Wow, wow, wow. Can't believe it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I am super excited. But this, this actually opens so many possibilities, you know? I think I can safely do a bit here, just a bit. Okay, so let's just tidy it up. And then I consider it finished for, for the day. It's not even midnight. Birds are ready, background is dry, so before I apply various colours, actually not that many colours, because the goals are not that colourful, 
I'm going to paint everything with white just to get rid of the blue background. I am considering a couple of colors. So first of all, Mars Black, Titanium White. I'll probably mix my own gray, maybe Pearl Space Gray and a little bit of burnt amber or burnt sienna, we'll see. This is just for the feathers and then I'll perhaps use a bit of orange and yellow for the legs. But let's just start with the feathers first. Please don't think I'm crazy because I reuse everything. So this is actually all dry. That's the other side of the plate. I painted the horse. So you can see the colors from the horsey. Now I am going to use the same plate for the birds. I'll make everything gray and then I'll apply some highlights and shadows. Now a little bit of black for the tail. I think it's not just completely black, so we've got a bit of grey and a bit of black. I love those finishing touches because it changes so much. I think the prettier birds have darker eyes and this, well, in my opinion, those scary looking ones have got like yellow. So my, mine is going to be the cute, cute one with black eyes. There will be a white dot in the middle. But at the moment, I'm going to leave it like this. For the feet, I might go for quite dramatic orange. I want them to be more seen on the sand. And the beak will be the same color. I think the very tip of the beak is going to be black, darker. And that will look very nice with the white wave, I think. And the last thing would be the stone or some kind of boulder for the seagull to stand on. And I'm looking at various stones I've collected. Uh, maybe not that dark. Go for a lighter one. So let me just sketch it quickly in light gray, perhaps. A little bit of burnt amber. I might lighten the edges a little bit. The last thing would be adding some shadows around the birds. So I'm using black, I am using those browns, I'm basically using what I have on my plate. I think I'm happy with it. Time for my signature, uh, just choosing the right place, looks like be nice here. And I consider it finished. Quite an involved process, but when we do it in steps, I hope you don't find it too difficult. And it actually makes me miss my seaside so badly. So I'm looking forward to your comments and actually who's going to reproduce it first. If you are inspired by my work, if you make something very similar, I would love to see the picture. So please send me one via Instagram. Also, thank you so much if you are posting anywhere on social media, if you credit me as a source of inspiration. I really, really appreciate it. I would also love to thank my amazing patrons for supporting the channel. And don't forget that there are extended versions on Patreon. Uh, the last one, I think it got 177% more than I show here in the YouTube video. And this piece is of course going to be for sale on my website. It is going to be varnished. I have to wait a bit for the paint to dry. Well, there we are. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, please. And don't forget to check out my Patreon if you enjoyed. Last week's extended tutorial there had 177% more footage than the YouTube one, and it helps support the channel. Please also let me know what you would like to see me make next. I really love reading your suggestions. Don't forget that this piece is on sale now on my website, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.